A new study out of the UK finds COVID-19 may cause neurological complications, including stroke, nerve damage, and potentially fatal brain inflammation, even if the patients did not show severe respiratory symptoms associated with the disease. Joining me now on Skype to talk more about this study, as well as COVID-19's effects on the brain, is Dr. Thomas Zabiega, board-certified neurologist and member of the Catholic Medical Association. Doctor, welcome to the show. Nice to be here. So the study looked at people across a wide age range, uh, 16 to 85. What were some of the findings? Well, what they found was that there was an increased incidence of three, t uh, three neurological disorders. One was uh, stroke, which we know is, uh, there's a risk with patients who have COVID-19 because there's an increased stickiness of their blood. And so they're more likely to form clots and those clots can block blood vessels to the brain and cause a stroke. The other two disorders were autoimmune meaning uh, especially the, the most prominent one was ADM, which is, stands for acute disseminated encephalomyelitis. In that condition, the, the uh, body, the immune system, which has fought off the virus, senses there's some components of the myelin, the covering of the brain, that is similar to the uh, components of the virus. And so it attacks the, the brain and the spinal cord, thinking that it's the virus, and that can cause uh, neurological damage. And the third condition, Guillain-Barre syndrome, was similar to the ADM in, in, in that the myelin is covering the uh, peripheral nerves, the nerves of the arms and legs instead of the brain, and those are attacked. And that can also cause some disability. Uh, there's actually three things that I want to just sort of point out with the study that I thought were important. One is it was done in a very prestigious uh, medical center, the Queen's Square Institute of Neurology, so like a Mayo Clinic of... Um, of neurology in, in Great Britain, and so so it doesn't actually correlate as well with with what I with what has been reported in the community uh, hospital setting. Um, the the second issue is uh, that uh, the, all these conditions are um, treatable. In fact, stroke if caught early on is reversible, and and the ADM and the Guillain-Barre can be treated quite effectively with minimal to no disability if treated appropriately. And the third thing that came up was uh, my concern was that because th these were autoimmune disorders that came up because of the um, effect of the particles of the virus being similar on the myelin, I'm, I'm concerned that has, they have to look cl more closely when they develop vaccines, because vaccines have viral particles, that that is something that they look at when developing uh, a vaccine for this condition. I know the COVID-19 pandemic has been compared to the 1918 flu pandemic. Did we see the same kinds of neurological issues during that or following that outbreak? And are there any takeaways that may help us? Um, it's 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 maybe similar in, in, in regards to you know, how, how uh, as, as far as prevalence, but as far as neurological conditions, it's actually quite dissimilar because in patients with the Spanish flu, there, there was an increased case of uh, Parkinson's that occurred after the uh, virus infection. That has not been seen too much that I've read or I've seen in uh, in COVID-19 infection. And there's also another condition that was actually mentioned in this, this uh, British study, encephalitis lethargica, which was a condition where people basically were like this in the permanent lethargic state. But it was occurred at the same time as that Spanish flu, and they were not sure if that was caused by the Spanish flu. It was just simply a coincidence that occurred at the same time. But they're very different than what we're seeing here with the COVID-19 infections. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Zabiega. We really appreciate your time and your insight today. Okay, you're welcome.